Greetings to everyone, especially Mom Marian. We are Group 1 consisting of Aba Incha, Alcovendas, Balano, and Balbuena from Set A, and Alo, Arborilia, and Baldera from Set B. Next slide. We are tasked with discussing Chapter 3, which is Farm Tools, Equipment, Labor, and Inputs. As we all know that farm tools and equipment are some of the things that make farming possible. There are numerous implements that are used for various purposes at different stages of farming, from soil preparation to planting and har har harvesting. Next slide, please. To start our discussion, these are the learning outcomes. At the end of this discussion, you should be able to first discuss the different farm tools and equipment and its function. Second, identify the different farm inputs and labor requirements. And third, appreci appreciate the importance of choosing quality farm inputs and labor requirements. Next. Farm tools and equipment. Next book. Can anyone please read? Yes, Miss Tapel. Farm tools, implements, and equipment play a very important role in agricultural crop production. Their availability makes the work much easier and faster. However, even if one may have the most sophisticated tools and implements but does not know how to use them, they are useless. In order to do crop production operations successfully, one must have a good working knowledge of the tools, implement, equipment. Sorry, di ko basa implements and equipments before using them. Okay, thank you, Miss. Um, so these farm tools and equipment are essential for agricultural activities, helping farmers cultivate, plant, harvest, and maintain their crops and livestock. These tools and equipment vary widely based on the type of farming, location, and specific tasks involved. But, however, kailangan gamitin ito ng maayos kasi may mga consequences kung hindi alam at hindi Alam kung saan at paano gamitin yung mga tools na yon. So, the accurate use of farm tools is important for efficient, safe, and sustainable agricultural practices. As it um, enhances productivity, minimizes resource waste, promotes safety, and contributes to the overall success and profitability of farming operations. Next slide. Now let's proceed to hand tools. Hand tools are usually light and are used without the help of animals or machines. They are being used in per performing farm activities which involve small areas like school garden and home garden. So these tools are typically handheld and require physical effort from the user. They play a crucial role in various farming activities from soil preparation to planting harvesting, and general farm maintenance. So this proper selection and use of these tools help farmers stream, streamline their work, um, enhance efficiency, and ensure the health and productivity of crops and livestock. Next slide. These are the examples of hand tools. First is axe. Axe is for cutting bigger size posts. These are um, axe or tools used for various tasks in farming, including splitting firewood, felling trees, and clearing brush and shaping timber. Next is bolo. It is used for it is used for cutting tall grasses and weeds and chopping branches of trees. It is a long blade bladed tool with a curved tip used for cutting tall grass and undergrowth. It's also effective for harvesting crops like sugar cane and bananas. The third one is the crowbar. It is used for digging big holes and for digging out big stones and stumps. So these crowbar, crowbars or pry bars are used for levering, prying, and lifting heavy objects. They are handy for tasks like removing rocks, posts, or digging in hard soil. Next slide. 
Four is the grub hoe. It it is used for breaking hard topsoil and pulverizing soil. So this is um versatile digging tool is for soil preparation, wet weeding, and creating furrows or rows for planting. Next is the hand cultivators. It is used for cultivating the garden plot by loosening the soil and removing weeds around the plant. So the, it is used for breaking up soil, aerating it, and removing weeds. They are especially useful in small-scale gardening and planting. Next is the hand fork. It is used for intero culti cultivation. So with their prong hands and designed for digging, lifting, and loosening soil, as well as removing weeds and small stones. Next slide. Hand towel, hand throw well. It is used for loosening the soil around the growing plants and putting small amount of man manure fertilizer in soil. These are small pointed tools used for digging small holes, transplant planting seedlings and working in tight spaces for planting and gardening. Na the next one is knife for farming. It is for cutting planting materials and for, for performing other operations in horticulture. Um it uses the this the uses of this knife how various application in farming such as cutting twin twin twine, opening bags harvesting fruits and vegetable, and performing general cutting tasks. Next is the light hole. It is used for loosening and leveling soil and digging out furrows for planting. So these light hole, holes are designed for weeding, cultivating, and breaking up loose soil in gardens and smaller farming areas. Next slide. Ms. Balbuena. Thank you, Ms. Alcobendas. The next tools in... Uh, I, thank you, Ms. Alcobendas. The next tools that we use in farm and farm tools and equipment is the pig matak. Um, pig matak is used for digging canals, breaking hard topsoil, top and for digging up stone and tree stumps. Madalas ginagamit ito sa ano? Sa... Uh, mga panghukay ng lupa, yung matitigas na lupa. Katulad nung sa, ano, mga, sa farm, sa farm makikita natin yung mga matitigas na lupa na hindi madali mahukay ng isang, isang pala. Gina, madalas, to gamit, madalas gamitin yung pick mata. Next naman is pruning, pruning shears. Pruning shears is for cutting branches of planting materials and unnecessary branches of plants. Um, madalas ginagamit yung ano, pruning shears sa mga halaman na ano na mga halaman na yung parang bigla-bigla na nang tumutubo dun sa or nakaugat siya dun sa ano, sa halaman. Ginagamit siya sa mga ano, yung pruning shears sa paggupit ng unknown or unnecessary branches ng halaman. Next po. Next is um break Rake is a use of, for cleaning the ground and leveling the topsoil. Um, yung rake naman is madalas din to makita sa mga ano sa madalas talaga to makita sa mga farm. Uh, kung saan yung rake is siya yung magpapatag ng soil na na pagtataniman natin and siya din yung magtatanggal ng mga halaman or dry leaves para para magpatag yung ano yung topsoil natin. Next is the shovel is used in removing trash, digging loose soil, moving soil from one place to another, and for mixing soil media. Madalas naman natin nakikita to sa ano sa mga construction worker. In Tagalog, ay shovel in Tagalog is pala. Next po. Next is sikel. Sikel is a handheld agricultural tools with a variously curved curved blade 
typically use for cutting weeds. Um, konting ano lang, konting ano lang. Meron kasing farm yung lolo ko, which is um, dun sa Bicol. Meron siyang mga tools na ginagamit sa farming tools. Eto, hindi masyado sa amin pinapahawak kasi nga, sobrang talim nga niyan. From, from their meaning na lang, ano na lang, ng sickle. Matalim talaga yung sickle pang, ta pang tabas yan sa mga halaman na ma matataas. Next is the spade. is used for removing trash or soil, digging canals and ditches, and mixing soil media. Ang kaibahan niya sa ano sa pala na sa pala natin yung kanina is yung yung pala natin is pang is nag naka-curve tapos ito naman pa square shape. Magkaiba yan ha, yung shovel at saka spade. Next is the spading fork. Ito din. Spading fork. Nabasa ba? Spading fork is used for loosening the soil digging out root crops and turning over the materials in a la, yun, in a in a soil ang kaibahan nito sa ano ang kaibahan nito sa sa nauna ano ba yung nauna no yun kanina ayun ang kaibahan niya sa rake is yung rake Madaming para siyang ano, para siyang supply. Ito naman, parang ano naman to. Ang um, spading fork naman, parang tinidor. From the word fork, itsura nga talaga siyang tinidor. Next is sprayer. May iba't ibang uri ng sprayer. Um, sprayer are for spraying in insect insecticide, foliar, fertilizer, fungi side, side, and herbicides next po next is the sprinklers is for watering ano, seedling and young plants yan madalas naman natin to nakikita sa mga dito sa atin sa lalo na sa city meron tayong mga ano mga plantita plantito dito na mga parents natin Madalas ginagamit yung sprinklers for watering the seedling seedling plant. Next is the wheelbarrow. Meron na ito sa ano eh, sa school na, sa, sa MPC. Wheelbarrow is used for hauling trash, manures, fertilizer, planting materials, and other equipment. Um, ito yung ano, para mapadali yung paglilipat yun ng soil sa ibang ibang lugar. Um, ginagamit tong wheelbarrow. Next po. Water pail. Water pail is for holding water, manu manure, and fertilizer. Meron tayong kanina na sprinkler. Yung sprinkler naman, pang dilig talaga. Yun talaga yung madalas natin pang dilig sa ano. Sa yung pandilig sa halaman. Ito din, pwede naman natin lagi, pwede naman natin gamitin yung water pail sa pandilig din sa halaman natin. But um madalas ginagamit ang water pail to fertilize and manure the our farm. But next. Next po. Next blows. Pakibasa po. Anyone po. Anyone na gusto mag- Ms. Tapel, thank you. Plows are farm implements either pulled by a working animal or a tractor. The plow is specifically used for tilling large areas, making furrows, and inter-row cultivation. Plows pulled by working animals are made of combination of metal and wood or pure metal. They are used to till areas with a shallower depth than that of the disc plows which are pulled by tractors. Ah, uh, yung plows naman, madalas ito ginagamit sa ano, sa uh, um, panghati sa mga halap, is panghati sa ano, sa sa farm natin. Kung nakita nyo yung dati yung mga, yung ano, ano bang tawag doon? 
yung naging problem sa ibang bansa na hinati ng ginamit yung flow na na ano ba, machine para mahati yung apoy sa gitna para mapigilan yung apoy sa ano sa farm nila yun yung flow yun nagahate or nag ano nagbe-break ng soil to bury crop residues and to help control weeds next po may different types of flow po tayo na ano na tinatawag which is the native flow and the disk flow so the native flow po it is typically consists of a large blade or disk attached to a handle or frame and and is pulled by animals or driven by tractor ito yung ano ito yung native flow ito yung old na ginamit old na ginagamit sa farm while the disk flow naman ito yung makabagong ito naman yung makabagong flow na mas mapapadali yung mga trabahante sa pag ano paghahati ng soil Um, this flow is a form of implement, uh, implement design to turn over and break up soil for planting. Next po. Mabayin siya. Next po. Uh, hello, am I am I audible? Yes, po. Yes, po. Okay, um, yes, po. Pwede pong uh, pabalik sa sim ano, uh, previous slide. No, not that one. There's a common next. Next. Doon sa ano, doon sa flow ulit. Next mo Next. pa. Sige, yan. Ah, uh, yan. Thank you. Um so, uh good morning everyone. Good morning because it is a good day. So, our topic uh The topic that I will tackle tonight is common farm equipments or common farming equipment. So, meaning ng common farming equipments are uh, uh, these are the machineries used in crop production. They are used in land preparation and transporting farm inputs and products. Next, please. So, example of Uh, the machine is hand tractor. It says that it is designed to pull and propel trailed or mounted agricultural agricultural machinery and implements compared to animals, humans. It is more efficient and can perform better. So, um, na discuss kanina yung yung flow. So, itong hand tractor na to. Ito yung machine na naghihila sa flow para ano para mag-function sila. Tapos Next slide please. Ayan, itong four wheel tractor, this machine can make your land preparation operations faster and easier. It is flexible in both dry, wet soil conditions and has better transition. So, itong four-wheel tractor, it is much bigger lang dun sa hand tractor. Par both sila, parehas dun sa, uh, ano, tawag dun. Um, flexible sila sa, na magamit sa dry and wet, wet soil kasi nangihila lang din naman sila ng mga machines. 
Um, next slide, please. Tapos, itong treasure. Treasure or farm machine for separating wet tea, soybeans, and other small grain and seed crops from their chaff and straw. So, eto, may example ako ng treasure. Ito po yung picture niya. Ayan, yung treasure na yan. Wait a minute. So, etong treasure na to, ginagamit siya pang, ano, pang hiwalay ng mga maliliit na butil at buto dun sa pananim. Wala dun sa, ano, sa dayami kung saan siya nakuha. Ayan, tapos. Next, next slide, please. Ito ang corn de husker. It is the function of a corn de husker is to remove the husk from the corn. This reveals the corn on the cob. Itong machine nito, itong purpose nito is ipaghihiwalay lang nitong corn nito sa parang balat niya. Ay, dun sa ano niya, mismong pinanggalingan ng mais. Diba kasi yung mais parang maliliit na ano siya? Maliliit na, yes. Tapos, yung pinakaparang buto niya, dun siya ihiwalay. Yun yung gamit ng corn de husker. And then, ayo next, next slide, please. Ito namang rice harvester um, from, the, from the title itself or the name itself. A rice reaper harvester is a machine to cut down rice panicles at harvest, the cut panicles are laid down by the machine for collection. So, keep, um, kindly look at the pictures. Ayan. So, itong machine na yan, ayan ang ginagawa niya. Yung mga palay na yan, ano niya yan, parang aahitin niya yan. Tapos, mapupunta itong mga naahit na palay nito dito sa likod niya. Kasi, di ba, nung unang panahon, ang mga gawa ng mga magsasaka natin is, ano, isa-isa silang nagbubunot. Or ang katulong nila sa pag ganun, may gamit din silang ganun, pero ang katulong nila is yung mga hayop. Um, dahil nasa modern era na tayo ngayon, mas madali na yung pag-harvest ng palay. So, next slide, please. Ito na mga gas cra uh, grass cutter. Um, is a device utilizing one or more revolving blades or a rail to cut a grass surface to an event height. So, ayan, we also have pictures for that. Um, itong sa, di ba, yung hawakan ng lalaki, yung sa pinakailalim, kung makikita niyo yung blade na yan, yung pabilog, ayan yung nagkakat ng, ano, ng grass natin. Uh, familiar naman siguro tayo dyan kung nanonood tayo ng mga Hollywood kasi yan ang gamit nila pang tabas ng damo nila sa kanilang bakuran. Yung blade na yan, bawal hawakan yan kapag gumagana kasi baka maputo lang daliri nyo. So, lahat ng machines natin dito ay bawal hawakan lang or gamitin ng mga um, bata or mga hindi alam gamitin. For professionalist na lang siya. Next slide, please. Ah, uh, ito, water pump. A water pump can drain water from a basement or shallow flooded areas, drain and fill a swimming pool or dam. Or alterna uh, alternatively, can also be utilized in the irrigation need for agriculture. The main function of water pump is to get rid of excess water or transfer water between two points. So, itong water pump natin, uh, marami itong use. Um, kung mapapansin nyo, or kung... Maaalala nyo kung may nakita ka na kayong ganito. Sa mga swimming pool, kapag nagaano sila, kapag marami yung tubig or may mga, yung mga ano, naabando ng mga swimming pool, gumagamit sila nyan para ano, um, madrain yung tubig sa water pool. Ah, sa pool, sorry, sorry. Um, sa pool. Ayan yung ano nila, yung ginagamit. Itong water pump din, pwede din siyang gamitin pang lagay ng tubig. Kunwari sa mga... Um, bukid din, pag walang ulan, nagaganyan-ganyan sila para mataniman ang kanilang mga halaman. Um, next next slide, please. Uh, ito na yung final, ano natin, um, final farming machine. 
Itong miller na to, ayan. One that operates a mill, specifically, um, one that grinds grain into flour, any of various moths serving powdery wings. Ito ng miller natin, ayan na yung nagpa-process or nagigiling ng mga nakuha nating palay. Siya na yung naggagawa para ano, maging bigas or yung iba ginagawang mga flour. Tapos kung ano pang mga ano nila, hindi lang naman kasi pang ano yan eh. Um, hindi lang siya pang palay talaga. Kasi marami tayo mga root crust. Kaya ayun, that's all. Thank you. So yon good day everyone. Am I audible po? Yes, yes po. Sorry for the for my voice if masyadong mahina or medyo paos. Dahil may sipon so bear with me guys. So let's proceed with our rice seeder. It's for sowing seed direct, directly in germinated paddy wetland field. Um, ito yung ginagamit na ano sa mga ng mga farmer na para para pumatag yung mga ano yung lupa, di ba kasi pag nakikita niyo yung mga farmer, ash, usually ginagamit nila to pag ano pag pinapantay nila yung tataniman nila ng palay. And para yung lupa or yung yung soil is magpantay-pantay para pa nagtanim sila ng palay is um proportion or ano pantay-pantay so next slide so this is the ano let's proceed to maintenance of simple farm tools so bakit nga ba natin kailangan i-maintain yung mga tools natin anyone um who would like to answer or may ano may May sasabihin po ba? Nan? Okay. Ay! So, Miss Tapel, go ahead po. Can you repeat the question po, please? Um, kay bakit kailangan natin i-maintain yung mga farm tools natin? Para po ano... Alam po natin kung kailan kung magagamit pa, bu, pa po siya or hindi na or kung safe pa kasi especially you kapag may mga kalawang na po hindi na po siya safe hawakan pwede pong uh, makakuha po doon ng sakit ganun po Thank you Miss Tapel So yon yung same with the answer of Miss Tapel kaya nga kailangan natin i-maintain yung mga tools natin kasi nag-i-insure to ng long long with long new VT of equipment. So, nagsisave din yung mga farmers ng money na or marireduce nila yung pagbili ng mga bagong tools kasi nga, nami-maintain nila. The following maintenance practices or precautions are to, to be adapted to prolong the lifespan and effective use of farm tools. Number one, tools should be washed or din after use Clean yan eh. So, sorry for the typo. Kailangan nga natin, um, kailangan natin linisin or linisin yung mga tools natin para nga mas ma-insure natin yung ma-insure natin yung maintenance o yung pag yung Ensure natin yung ano nan, yung paggamit nito. Oil grease or lubricate movable parts to reduce friction. Number three, sharpen tools with blunt edges or blades regularly. Example is cut last. Number four, paint or grease metallic parts of to prevent rusting if they are to be kept for a long time. Kailangan natin, di ba ano, pag nag Kailangan natin lagyan ng oil or o yung oil or grease metallic para hindi siya makalawin yung mga tools natin. Kasi diba, yung mga tools natin mabilis siya kapitan ng kalawang. Kaya kailangan natin lagyan ng oil to prevent the rusting. Number five, store tools in a cool dry place. Number six, number six replace worn out or damaged parts of farm tools. Number seven, check and tighten loose nuts and bolts 
daily or periodically. Number eight, remove tools with wooden parts away from the sun to avoid cracking. Ito kasi yung mga tools natin, pag binibilad natin siya sa araw, may, possible, may possibility na mas rumupok siya. Mas rumupok siya pag, ano, pag nabilad natin siya sa araw. Number nine, keep metallic tools away from rain or moist places to avoid rusting. Number ten, keep tools with wooden handles away from term termites and fire. Number eleven, handle tools with care and use them for the right farm operation. Pag gagamit tayo ng farm tools, kailangan natin siyang i-handle kasi pag hindi natin siya i-handle, hindi natin magagamit or hindi natin siya magagamit sa tamang um, use ng ano ng ng tools na yon and overall proper maintenance also in enhances safety as damaged or poorly maintained tools can lead to accidents additionally maintaining from tools reduces downtime downtime during critical farming season minimizing disruption to the farming schedule Maintaining farm tools is, is an essential practice that promotes economic efficiency, safety, and productivity in agriculture. So, next slide spot. So, let's proceed to, I know, farmer, farm input and labors. Agriculture inputs are any external source put into soil that can help a farmer's up upcoming yield. Choosing and knowing them well will help you to have successful harvest. Consumable inputs are very everyday commonly commonly used agricultural inputs for smallholder farmers, seed, fertilizer, and sen insecticides, and etc. Farm inputs Farm inputs, they are defined as product permitted for use in organic farming. These include feedstuff, fertilizer, and permitted plant protection products. The resources that are used in farm production are the following. Next slide. So number one is seed. Seed is a material which is used for planting or regeneration purpose. However, scientifically, it is fertilized, matured, oval, together, covered with sear coat, and it is propagating <coughs> material. Thus, a seed is the most vital, crucial input for a crop production. Number two, fertilizer. Fertilizer is a chemical or natural substance added to soil or land to increase its fertility. These are two type, there are two types of fertilizer, organic and inorganic. So when we say fertilizer, it is used or it is combined um, different organic, organic material para maano siya para mabuo ng fertilizer. Example of this is yung mga ano, yung mga dumi ng mga hayop or yung mga pinagbalatan at or mga balat ng gulay. So next next slide. So this is the different types of fertilizer. Number one, organic and organic fertilizer. So what is the organic fertilizer? Organic fertilizer are made from natural and organic materials, mainly manure, compost, or other animal plant products. These fertilizer are a great source of nutrients, though there there isn't this isn't a measurable amount of any specific nutrients. Some bugs will print is estimate. Organic fertilizer tend to work slowly and over the long term. It can help up your soil over time. One of the best benefits of organic fertilizer is that it is can be made at home. Using your own compost can help your garden. So from the word itself, it is organic materials. Yun nga yung sinabi kong manure. Manure or manure? 
So, yun. Ano, pag, when we say manure, yun nga, yung mga dumi ng aso, specifically, dumi ng cow and goat. There are example of organic fertilizer. So, yun nga, yun, number one, manure. Number two is compost. Compost is, it is grat it is organic matter decomposed through composting. The organic matter used here can be vegetable and plant waste, animal, and animals. So, yun nga, yung mga waste na galing sa vegetable natin and plant is, pwede natin siya maging fertilizer. Number three example is chicken litter. It is consists consists of chicken manure and sodas. It it is high level of high nit nitrogen and potassium. Potash. Yung mga dumi ng manok. Ano? Yung kasi dun sa ano lang, tawag doon trivia lang. Yung dun kasi sa province namin, ang ginagamit talaga nila is yung mga dumi ng manok. So, ano siya, ma mabilis siya mag uh, mabilis siya magpataba ng mga ano ng mga halaman and it is a good fertilizer sa sa mga ano, sa mga farm products or agricultural plants ganun. Number four, bone meal. It is a it is a mix of ground, slaughterhouse, waste product like animal bones. Number five is vermicompost. Hindi siya kasali dyan, so inad ko lang. It is a product of organic material degradation using various species of forms to create a heterogeneous mixture of decomposing food waste. So next slide. So this is the... Ano, in organic fertilizer are made of up chemical components that contain necessary nutrients if you're looking to give your garden a quick boost this is likely the best option for you this for successful successful short-term growth determine what nutrients your plant needs and use in an organic fertilizer without with nutrients in simple ano, in simple word in organic fertilizer is a type of plant food food made from minerals and chemicals not from living things like organic matter and it will it help helps plants grow by providing essential nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium ito yung ano part siya type siya ng ano in, in organic fertilizer Ni nitrogen fertilizer Nitrogen is a plant nutrients responsible for growth. This ingredient is useful in fertilizer, particularly during the middle stages of plant's lifespan, when it needs encouragement to continue to grow large and stem new leaves. Both organic and inorganic fertilizer have source of nitrogen in them. So that's all my topic. Let's proceed po, Miss Alo. Thank you. Sinig po ako. Okay. The continuation for resources that are used in a car production. Number three. Wait. A phosphate first fertilizer. It is a nutrient that plants need continuously. Plants with a phosphorus deficiency will experience static growth. Number three is because it helps to strengthen the root to develop and plant, plant mutation and of seed development because um, Phosphorus is one of the most important elements for plant life. Number four, it helps to strengthen plant, which is the ability to resist disease and also plays a significant role, which is increasing crop yields and the overall quality. The best example for this number four, which is the potassium fertilizer, is um, I guess it's rose plant and orchids. 
Fertilizer forms. Fertilizers comes in a few different forms. There is a liquid powder and granules. Liquid fertilizer are often diluted with water. When the word diluted, it means weakened or thin by or as if by having mixed with mixed with something else. Um, example is wine, painting, or even when it's ble when bleaching. Powdered fertilizer also need water to be productive. Granule lawn fertilizers can easily be spread on top of soil. And the word granule, which is known as a dry pellets or solid fertilizer, this must break down and dissolve in water in the soil before the lawn absorbs the, feed the feeding benefits. Pesticide. It is a substance used for destroying insect or other organisms harmful, harmful to cultivated plants or animals. Okay, let's let's proceed to different types of pesticides. Algae. It is used for killing or and or slowing the growth of algae. Algae is used to control the algae growth, which is in impounded waters, lakes, pond, and etc. It is also applied as a granule crystals or a pellets. Antimicrobial. It is a to control germs and microbes such as bacteria and viruses. Antimicrobial, when the word anti is an agent that is microorganisms or to stop their growth. Actually, it can be also grouped according to the microorganisms they can act as uh, primarily against. Biopesticides are made of living things or they are found in nature. Biopesticide, bio it is derived from such as natural materials like animals, plants, bacteria, and certain minerals. Um, the best example for this is the canola oil and uh, baking soda, which is considered as biopesticides. Okay, next. Desiccant. It is used to dry up living plant tissues to absorb the ano, humidity and moisture in the air to maintain moisture, mo moisture free environment, um, which is essential to prevent damage, corrosion, bacteria, and mold growth. Many desiccants exist, including silica gel, activated charcoal, and charcoal soap. Defoliant. Defoliant to drop on their lips. We usually saw this like in um when the time of pandemic. It is a chemical dust or spray applied to a plant um to cause their lips to drop off prem prematurely. It is sometimes are applied to crop plants such as cotton in order to facilitate harvesting. Disinfectants are made of living things or they are found in nature. Disinfectants, um, it, in it includes alcohol, chlorine, and chlorine compounds. That's it. Buggers. Buggers are made of living things or they are found in nature. What the? Okay, let me explain na lang. Foggy is a total waste powder. Sometimes it is called fog bombs. Are pesticide products that spray out of all ones. They are used to control cockroaches, fleas, and other insect pests. Most um, foggers contain pyrethrin, 
Ayan, or pyrethroid pesticides plus aerosol propellants that make a fog that fills the room. Fungicides. Fungicides. It is used to control fungal problems. These are the pesticides that kill or prevent the growth of fungi and their spores. They can be used um, to control fungi that damage plants, including grass, mildews, and blights. This might also be used to control mold and mildew in the other settings. Nine, um, herbicides. To kill or inhibit the growth of unwanted plants. These are the chemicals used to manipulate or control undesirable vegetation, herbicide. Application occurs most frequently in row crop farming when they are applied before or during plant to maximize crop productivity by minimizing other vegetation. The last and the number 10 is illegal and counterfeit pesticides are imported or sold illegally. Counterfeit, uh, it is a product of contain chemicals which are either banned or restricted due to the risk they pose to human health or, the envi or to our environment. Insecticides. These are used to control insects. The pest are pesticides that are formulated to kill, harm, repel, or mitigate one or more species or of insect. It is a it can be worked in different ways. Some insecticides disrupt the nervous system, whereas others may damage their exhaust skeleton, hold them or control them by some other means. Insect growth regulators disrupt the growth and reproduction insect. Insect growth regulators are insecticides that mimic hormones in, a, in young insects. Minimum risk for pesticide. These are exempt from EPA, EPA registration, but many states require them to be registered. Miticides uh, control mites that feed on plants and animals. It is also called um, acaricide. But any 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 chemical substance used to control mites or ticks, especially species that damage ornamental or food plants, which are which are not susceptible to commonly use insecticides. Fifteen, the last but not the least, molluscicides are designed to control slugs, snails, and other. Mites. These are the chemical substances or biocides developed specifically for destroying mollusks. This is the mode of um, action of many of these compounds is distress to the water balance system of mollusk species. May I call on Ms. Balano for the next reporter? Thank you, Ms. Alo. And continuation po siya ng different types of Pesticides pa. Sa mothball are insecticides used to kill fabric pest by fumigation in sealed containers. Um, ito yung mga kulay puti na bilog na um, kadalasan na inilalagay sa cabinet or pwede rin sa ilalim ng mga damit para pampuksa uh, sa mga ipis or daga. Para na rin hindi na masira yung, yung mga damit. 
um, sunod, um, natural and biological pesticides. Control pests using things found in nature or man-made versions of things found in nature. Um, hindi na, um, hindi na kinakailangan lagyan ng mga chemical, um, puro, puro natura, natural lang. Um, pwede rin siya gamitan ng mga organic, ganon. Tapos, um, uh, ginagawa din po nila yan para makatipid dahil sa, um, mahal, mahal na yung mga chemical pesticides po. At nasubok, subok at, at napatunay na rin po na magumagamit po. And herbicides yan, are used to control eggs of insects and and then, kumakita. And mites. Mites pa. Ayan. Isa sa mga chemical pesticides or pampuksa sa mga itlog para hindi sila dumami or, ay, at maging, ano ba At maging insekto. Ayan. Next slide po. Pheromones are biology. Uh, biologically active chemicals used to attract insects or disrupt their mating behavior. The ratio of chemicals in the mixture is often species specific. Um, isa siyang trap para sa mga insekto para hindi sila dumami or kumalat. <clears throat> Tapos, um, plant growth regulations and regulators are used to alter the growth of plants for example they may uh, induce or delay an flowering ayon um nilalag or inispreyan po siya sa stem or sa soil para dumaan sa roots and leaves and flowers para mas lumago at lumaki at maging healthy yung halaman Tapos, uh, repellents are designed to repel unwanted pests often by taste or smell. <clears throat> Sorry po. Um, example na po yung mga um, uh, of lotion or kahit mga spray products na pwede pampuksa sa mga lamok. Pwede rin pong maka, ano ata dito? Pwede rin pong pamprotect. Pamprotect po sa atin. Uh, next slide po. Rodenticides are used to kill rodents like mice, ra rats, and gophers. Yon. Ito yung mga, may mga halong chemical na pampuksa sa mga daga. Um, synergies make certain pesticide more effective but they are not effective when used alone. So, sa lahat ng mga pesticide na nagamit, ito yung parang pinaka-effective dahil sa mga natatapang na chemical na hinahalo dito. Tapos, sa uh, treated seeds um, are contained with uh, pesticides to, to limit crop damage from fungus and insects. <coughs> Ito yung mga proseso na hinahalo yung <clears throat> chemical na produkto sa may tubig at at nilalagay yung <clears throat> yung mga buto. Yan. Pa next slide po. <clears throat> wood preservatives are used to make wood resistant to insect fungus eh? fungus fungus and under pest so ayun nga pinapahid nito yung mga kahoy para hindi pasukan ng mga insekto at para na rin hindi na rin 
<clears throat> hindi siya para in, para maiwasan yung pagkarupok ng mga kakoy dahil sa gawa ng mga insekto. Tapos sa farm labor, farm labor is the one power to perform agricultural works such as land preparations, planting, sowing, plant caring, maintenance, harvesting, and storing. It is the comprehensive efforts by an individual <coughs> or group, excuse me, of men to successfully fulfill the needs of the demand of farm operations. Sila po yung ano, nagpapalago ng agri agriculture, kaya mahalaga dahil sa <coughs> Bin? Dahil sa kanila, dito tayo nakakuha ng mga pangailangan sa pang-araw-araw. Kaya pahalaga, pahalagahan natin yung mga ating mag magsasaka. Next slide po. Labor requirement for land preparation. Ayan. Plowing using animal. Um, katulong natin yung mga hayop sa pag-aararo, halimbawa na lang ng kalabaw. Um, plowing using tractor. Um, ito. Pinapagana nito, uh, pinapagana nito gamit, ah? Pinapagana ito ng makina para makapag-araro. Tapos, next slide po. Clearing of the land using hoe. Ayan. Um, ginagamit ito sa pangtatabas na mga ligaw na damo. Tapos, harrowing using hand tractor. Gaya sa tractor, um, ginagamitan din ito ng makina. Pero, patulak kaya hand tractor. Ayan. Next reporter na po. Miss Ayen. Okay. Labor requirement for plant care. Next slide, please. Fertilizer application. Fertilizer apl application is the process of distrib distributing nutrients to plants to enhance their growth and development, typically by adding specific compounds or substances to the so soil or directly to the plants. Then we have pest control. Pest control involves the management and elimination of unwanted organisms such as in insects, rodents, or weeds to prevent damage to crops, property, or human health. Next slide, please. We have irrigation. Irrigation is the artific artificial application of water to land or soil to assist in the growth of crops and vegetation, typically in agriculture, landscaping, or hort horticulture, to ensure adequate moisture for plant growth. Next, we have weeding. The process of removing unwanted plants, often referred to as weeds, from a garden field or other areas where they can compete with the desirable plants for nutrients, sunlight, and space. Next slide, please. We have harvesting. Harvesting is the act of gathering mature crops or fruits from animal, from plants for consumption, sale, or further process, processing, typically occurring at the peak of their ripeness and readiness for use. Then we have threshing, threshing rice is the mechanical or manual process of separating the edible rice grains from their inedible parts, such as husk and shaft, after the rice plants have been, have been harvested. Next slide, please. Drying rice. This, this is the essential step of removing excess moisture from freshly harvested rice grains, preventing mold and degrade, degradation and ensuring their long-term storage quality. 
Then we have threshing corn. Threshing corn is the method of separating the corn urinals from the corn plants, husk, and stalks, usually accomplished using machinery or manual labor, making the corn ready for consumption process or in storage. Next slide, please. Drying corn involves reducing the moisture content or har of harvested corn kernels to prevent spoilage and ensure long-term storage, typically through methods like air drying or heated drying system. Then we have storing. Storing refers to the practice of keeping items such as goods and products or materials in a specific location or container for future use, preservation, or distribution. Done. Thank you. That's all for our report from group one. Thank you for listening.